This is a very simple lecture, but it does show uh, things that we should all know. Uh, basically, it's a young child. I know that because the bones are not fused at the epiphysis. Uh, the carpal bones look okay. This looks okay. This is the radius bone. So right here, you see how the bone kind of changes. It's got a little angle to it. If you look at the lateral film, it's actually a little bit more obvious. So this is actually called a buccal fracture. Buccal. And uh, it's kind of like, the way I explain it to patients is when somebody steps in a can and it collapses a little bit, that's what happens to the bone. It collapses a little bit, just making that deformity there. So obviously that's not a kind of fracture that is going to get much worse or there's any kind of deformity or problem. But it is considered a fracture, a crack in the bone. And it's treated with splint, casting, and follow-up. Um, the other option is if you wouldn't have seen that buckle and the patient was painful and palpation, we would treat him as a fracture either way because you never can rule out if there's any kind of fracture across the growth plate. Those are called SALTER, S-A-L-T-E-R, fractures, and it goes from grade one through grade five. And the problem is you can miss those very easily on plain film. So if they have tenderness to palpation and they still have growth plates, you should always treat them uh, symptomatically with a splint. Um, and call it a possible salter fraction.